Hey, I'm Matt. I'm a high school science teacher, and I'm also one of the co-founders of Insert Learning. Um, and we are also in Minnesota. I'm only a couple of ways from Flipgrid. Uh, and so I'm really excited to kind of share some of the different ways that we've been using Insert Learning with Flipgrid to really engage our students more into the text. Because um, it's really fun to be able to be a teacher and an ed tech founder um, and still be in the classroom. So I get to try a lot of fun stuff. So the first one we're going to be talking about is building reading fluency and confidence for assessment and for fun. So we're going to start off with the fun one here with Edgar Allan Poe's The Pit and the Pendulum. So one of the things is you can use what Insert Learning does. I should explain that. It's a tool that lets teachers turn any online text into an interactive lesson. And it's a browser extension. And so I've got my toolbar right here. But what I'm going to have students do is, as they're reading through it, I'm going to embed questions and stuff like that with Insert Learning. But I thought it'd be really fun to have students do their own dramatic reading of their favorite part of um, the pit and the pendulum. So I've already set up my own um, topic over here for the pit and the pendulum. I've given my students the instructions. I chose a very dramatic GIF, obviously. So I'm going to create the topic. So I go through or create it. Cool, we're done. Now what I'm going to do to for the magic of this for our app smashing, I'm going to click on share topic and then embed. So we've got two options here, right? We're going to embed just the card or fully functional topic and we want that. So I'm going to copy this one and head back over here. And I'm going to add in a sticky note over here at the top. And so you notice it's kind of highlighting yellow. I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to now paste in that embed code that I got from Flipgrid. And here is the whole thing. <laughs> I love that look on the eagle's face. Um, so what the students can do is, as they're going through, they're going to read through, and I'm going to embed questions and stuff in here, but now they can click on the record button, and they can actually do a recording. So let's try this right now. So I'm going to be a student. I'm going to click on the record. It's going to be starting in three, two, one. I was sick, sick unto death, and that ag long agony, and when at length unbound me, and then they kind of keep reading through. All right, so I'm going to add that on there. We'll, just, we'll call that one good. Um, right, so this is going to be a really fun way to get students being pretty goofy and really thinking a lot about what they're reading and what those words mean as they're going through it. So I'm going to have another one now, right? So nonfiction is also a really important thing. Try and get students to get in the habit of just comfortable with reading that because there's big differences between the fiction and the nonfiction. Um, and there's a lot of standards that go along with that. So we can do the same kind of thing of loading in Insert Learning. So I'm using this on one of my favorite other websites that I use with Insert Learning a lot is called Science News for Students. Um, and so we can do the same thing of now embedding sticky notes and kind of mixing them within here. But we can also add in a sticky note and embed our Flipgrid topic here of then asking them to like read through this out loud. So we can do the same thing of adding in another topic, embed it here, and then just with the instructions of, I want students to now read through this. So they just simply practice reading these nonfiction articles um, silently, but also getting that out loud practice. Because um, it's going to have some very different challenging words and sentences as they're going along. All right, so for our last one now that I'm going to have for fun things is we're going to do our super app smash here. We are going to combine Screencastify, Insert Learning, and put them all together in Flipgrid. And I actually used Screencastify to make my instructions here. And for this one, what I did was, um, so this is a really cool article uh, about bizarre animal adaptations. And I've actually used this one with my students. And so what I've done is they, I give them the instructions of read through and then highlight um, the students or whatever the animal's um, adaptation was and then the benefit of that adaptation. Instead of asking questions all the time, so I wanted them to be in that reading mode and really think about what they were reading. And so I can see now as a teacher, I can click through and I can see what they're actually highlighting in real time with insert learning on the text. And so I thought, hey, this would be a super fun way of when we get to the very end, I did ask some questions. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to the bottom. But I thought it'd be really cool is down here, I've got questions, but let's bring this even further because they spent a lot of time highlighting that stuff and so what I've done is I created another topic with um, Flipgrid of use Screencastify to reflect on the annotations you made on this article. So then upload the Screencastify video to your topic as your response. So I'm going to click on share. I want to embed this one. And um, you can embed either just the topic card or the fully interactive one. I'll go with this one. And then I'm going to come back here, click on my sticky note, and now paste in that. And so now what students can do is, as students are going through, they can now, they'll use Screencastify, 
they will go through and they'll explain why they highlighted certain things about each animal and questions that they have. So now they're actually going to be going through the process and explaining their thinking that they had as they're reading it and then uploading that to the Flipgrid. And then what's so great though about with Flipgrid is that now all the students can see each other's responses on there and compare how they're annotating the article with other students in the class and really kind of learn from each other. Um, and it's also just gonna be a really fun way to simply, you know, to, just to like talk about these things. All right, we're gonna move on now to our next topic here. And this is our text dependent discussions and bringing the text to life. And this is gonna be another app smashing here, a double app smashing, because we're gonna be doing this on top of a Newzella article. So I've already signed in. It's really important of make sure it's your students all need an account to Newzella also in the teacher too. Um, and each, I should note, mention too, that each reading level kind of gets at, treated as a separate lesson. So if you do end up having this be on like the 790 Lexile level, all of your students will need to be reading that same article there to see this. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and then with insert learning, you can add in like discussions and stuff like that within I could click on that and then in a paragraph and add my discussion. But right, I mean, that's the beauty of Flipgrid is like having that video discussion um and having students share their ideas and so instead of that this text one i'm going to be adding in a flipgrid one so i'm going to add in my sticky note and we're just going to simply use that of like flipgrid we're going to create a new a new topic okay so i'm going to add in my flipgrid topic in here into this sticky note and so i've already created the topic of trash in the harbor i'm going to click on share topic and this one i want students to be able to um comment directly or add their responses directly in there so i'm going to do this fully embedded like you know, interactive one. Um, and I'm going to paste it in right there. And I added in this is what really what's really fun um, is right is like getting students to read it and it's text dependent questions where the question only makes sense based on what they've read. So I put the so I put the description of from the above section, how is so much garbage getting into the harbor? And why do you think it's been difficult to solve this problem? So it lets students kind of like do a combination of things that they have read and they can only find this information from this above section right there. And it's also nice because we've scaffolded the text now with this discussion, but it's also giving them a chance to be able to share their own ideas um, and thoughts about why they think it's been a really tough thing to solve. So this is a really fun way of being able to bring in these text dependent question or discussions into any text with Flipgrid. Um, all right, so now we're gonna move on to our very last one here, and this is documenting analog work. We're talking about all these like all of these different tools that are digital and there's so much learning activity that's going on in our classroom outside of the computer and so it's how can we bring these things and bring that stuff then into it and so as a science teacher it's like right a science lab so this is a lab that i've done with my students in the past um and so this is a google doc that somebody shared with me and it's the um, cloud and bottle one it's a very simple procedure and so what i did was i used insert learning on this so i'm going to go ahead and load insert learning this is on a Google Doc, and it's going to go through and it's going to prompt me that I need to publish this doc, and it's going to walk through. It goes pretty quick. It's good to be the like the founder of a company that you also use the tool with your students. You things go fast. Uh, so I've already used Insert Learning on this Google Doc to turn it into a full interactive lesson. Um, so I embedded a YouTube video that showed how to do these things um, and some highlights and stuff like that, and then a discussion down here. But this is where now I want to take it a step further. And what we're going to do now is instead of just simply asking students like, hey, how did it go? We're going to use the magic of Flipgrid so that students can use their computers, their Chromebooks, or even their phones to then add in actual responses. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it up here at the very end when they kind of finish with their lab. So I'm going to go ahead and click and add in a new sticky note. We'll head back over to my grid. And I want to copy the like fully functional one. I'm going to paste that in there, but because students are going to probably also be using their phones as an option, I'm also going to go over to QR code. I'm going to now copy that. I'll just right click copy and we'll go over here and I'm just going to paste in that QR code. So students can just simply point their phones and boom, there they go. And I did my test one right here. My Nalgene bottle did not work out well, but it kind of shows you the same idea of it's so simple now for students to be able to take you can add in lots of different um, topics into your lab procedures or really anything we're asking students to do some sort of hands-on project combined with digital instructions. Um, and then to have students just share it. So in mind, it didn't work. And I asked, I asked my classmates then for some help of like, hey, what did you guys do? I need some help on this one. So someone hopefully will come over and help me out with my cloud and bottle. So these are some of the different ways, App Smashing, Insert Learning, Newzilla, Screencastify, Flipgrid, 
everything all together and creating some really cool stuff.